Welcome to our news updates. The recent revelation from former U.S. Capitol Police Chief Stephen Sun sheds new light on the events leading up to the Capitol riots on January 6, 2021. According to a report by Conservative Brief News on Saturday, September 30, 2023, Sen's testimony before Congress drew attention to then-House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's actions in the days leading up to the fateful event request to send National Guard soldiers rejected. During a 90-minute hearing before the House Oversight Committee, Stephen Sund revealed that he had called for the use of National Guard soldiers to secure the Capitol three days before the insurrection. Before we continue, please support us by clicking on the subscription button and turn on the notification bell for more updates. However, his request was rejected by the Sergeant-at-Arms of the United States House of Representatives, Paul Irving. Sund claimed Irving's response was influenced by concerns about optics and the assertion that the Secret Service doesn't support this. Sund's disappointment with the troops' refusal was palpable, as he believed their presence on that critical day could have been a game-changer in securing the Capitol. Sun's efforts to gain approval to support the National Guard included meetings with Irving and Senate Sergeant at Arms Michael Stenger, who made up two-thirds of the Capitol Police Board and was responsible for overseeing such requests. Sun's statement raises questions about Speaker Pelosi's involvement in the decision-making process. According to Sun, Irving suggested contacting the Pentagon to examine the availability of Guard personnel, thereby demonstrating his willingness to explore alternative solutions. Sun's subsequent call to Army General William Walker revealed the possibility of reassigning personnel to support. Subcommittee Chairman Rep. Barry Loudermilk even asked whether Irving had notified Stenger before Sun's arrival, to which Sun testified that Stenger confirmed Irving's involvement in planning an alternative strategy. Stenger reportedly stated, Sun came here looking for the National Guard. We have to come up with another plan. Pelosi will never accept him. It is important to note that while Sun's revelations shed light on the events leading up to January 6, they do not provide a complete picture of Pelosi's role in the decision-making process. Sun's statement, however, has reignited a debate over Speaker Pelosi's involvement in security decisions for the Capitol. Former President Donald Trump has repeatedly claimed that Pelosi, as House Speaker, was ultimately responsible for security and rejected an offer of 10,000 National Guard troops. This claim has now gained new momentum in light of Sun's statement. Rep. Loudermilk has indicated that Paul Irving will be called to testify before his subcommittee, providing an opportunity to receive further clarification and insight into the decision-making process surrounding capital security on January 6. Thanks for watching. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section.